Now to New Delhi, where the investigation continues into the source of an explosion outside the Israeli embassy last Thursday, with an Israeli team that reportedly includes members of the Mossad intelligence agency now assisting Indian authorities. A note discovered near the blast site warned the attack was, quote, just a preview, and the motive was revenge. Nia Punia is with us from New Delhi with the latest information. Well, an initial probe into Friday's explosion has found that military-grade explosives were possibly used in the bomb, and forensic teams are now examining that lead further. The bomb was packed with ball bearings and wrapped up in a plastic bag, then placed in a flower pot across the road from the Israeli embassy here in Delhi. And just hours after that explosion, another bomb was found close to the Israeli embassy in Paris as well. And investigators say this is leading them to believe this was possibly a coordinated attack. For now, the CCTV cameras in that area are being examined. A letter was also found from the explosion site, which allegedly had references to Iranian Army General Qasem Soleimani, as well as nuclear scientist Dr. Mohsen Fakir Zadeh, both of whom uh, died last year. When asked whether this was proof of Iran's involvement, you had Ambassador Ron Malka say that investigations are still underway. It's still too soon to say anything conclusively. For now, security across India has been uh, jacked up. You have uh, additional security, particularly at the airports as well. And, uh, uh, you know, this happened in a high security VIP area, which is why uh, there's a lot of concern surrounding this particular attack. In 2012 as well, you had uh, a sticky bomb that was placed on an Israeli diplomat's car here in Delhi. Three people, including the diplomat, were injured back then. And, uh, Iranian, and an Iranian national was found linked to that particular attack. For now, India has promised uh, complete security and protection to the Israeli diplomats stationed here in New Delhi. And what's important to note is that this particular attack happened on the very day that India and Israel were marking 29 years of diplomatic ties, Caliph.